All right, former Bush speechwriter apparently blames me for the passage of health care reform. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Frum. According to Mr. Frum, Talk Radio thrives on confrontation and recrimination. When Rush Limbaugh said he wanted President Obama to fail, he was intelligently explaining his own interest. What he omitted to say, but was equally true, is that he also wants Republicans to fail. If Republicans succeed, if they govern successfully in office and negotiate attractive compromises out of office, Rush's listeners get less angry. And if they are less angry... They listen to radio less and hear fewer ads for sleep number beds. So today's defeat for free market economics and the Republican values is a huge win for the conservative entertainment industry. Their listeners and viewers will now be more enraged, even more frustrated, even more disappointed in everybody except the responsibility-free talkers on television and radio. For them, it's mission accomplished. For the cause they purport to represent, it's Waterloo, all right, ours. All right, let me just say something to you, Mr. Frum. If you were in front of me, I'd punch you right in the face. All right, Mr. Frum? Because your boyfriend, George W. Bush, Jorge Bush, the co-president of Mexico, he sold us out a long time ago, Mr. Frum. I'd punch you right in the face, and I'd kick you right in the stones. And then I'd neuter you so that, God willing, you wouldn't put any more children on this planet that might inherit some of your elite attitudes, Mr. Frum. Mr. Frum, the talk hosts talk to the real people. We talk hosts communicate with real Americans all day, every day. We don't sit around in some stinking polo club or some elite Ivy League uh, Skull and Bones Club. Pardon me, I had a frog in my throat. We don't sit around with the elites like you pontificating how to make a stinking deal, lawyer boy, process-obsessed fool and tool. It was your boyfriend, George Bush, that sold us out on immigration. It was your boyfriend, George Bush, that sold out the American public on prescription drug spending. It was your boyfriend, George Bush, that started bailing out their buddies on Wall Street. So don't you dare put the blame on this on conservative radio talk hosts because we're in touch with real people. We talk to the strength of America, not a bunch of quizlings like you, Mr. Frum. I'll fight you any day of the week, you no-good, dirty, rotten, traitor, son of a bitch. How dare you say this? How dare you say that the voice of the American people doesn't count? How dare you, David, from someday when I'm governor, mayor, dog catcher, I'm going to arrest you. And I'm going to put you in the stocks. And I'm going to make you sit right outside of a bunch of portalettes at a big, fat, giant biker rally and let you get the scent. You are nothing more than a parasite. You and the rest of your Ivy League skull and bones boyfriends, you can kiss my ass. Let's book him here to make a speech just so I can walk up on that podium and drop that chump like a bad habit. How dare he say this? How dare he marginalize your opinion and your wants and your wishes and your desires? My opinion not only is just as valid as David Frum, but I would say it is more valid than David Frum because his track record sucks. I'm tired of being by having my face spit in by these elites. I'm tired of my children's future riding on whatever the whim of these lawyers. You are obsessed with process, not results. You are a you 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 are you you are all about compromise, not right and wrong, David Frum, you scumbag, you parasite. Why don't you jump off a cliff? Why don't you go find out if your wife's been sleeping with Tiger Woods? America does not need people like this. David Frum, get out of our lives. Get out of our face. You're a nothing, a nobody, a parasite, a pig, and a traitor.